The result of the play was a cool. catch. Prior to that, legal touching, offense, five yard penalty, go back, replay, first down. This is a master class in officiating. And it was funny, we were walking in the building and there's this plaza right outside and it says, a build your future plaza. And that's what we're doing for this group of officials, aspiring officials that are in various stages of their career, but are looking to continue to grow their career. We'll slow it, we'll slow it down, but you know, kind of go through it like a regular game, okay? Do you see a hold or a grab, something that jumps out at you? Not nitpicky, but throw it. And we're gonna look at it. And it'll help you too. One of the things that I thought was extremely important is that you should treat them with respect. How you speak to them I think is extremely important. Everybody is involved in this game to, to try to make it a better game the best they possibly can. And I think as coaches we have to understand too is that uh, in a game, players make the most mistakes, coaches make the second most mistakes, and officials make the least. But we act just the opposite. It's all good. First of all, are there any questions that you had from yesterday? Well, I've been with, working with the COC for six years, um, supported the Big Ten for the last few years. The growth, especially with DEI and more awareness, has been wonderful. Uh, I have enjoyed every moment with the COC and with working with the Big Ten because there is an awareness there that uh, everyone has biases, everyone has an opportunity to improve. And so when you come from that position, you're more open to receiving information that might be new to you. One, two, three, C.O.C. You have a level of professionalism that dictates how you deal with coaches and how you manage situations that may or may not be something that the average fan would understand because lots of times the rules are so complicated, people don't understand exactly what you're doing and sometimes coaches don't. But when you take the time as a professional to explain it to them, generally you can diffuse any situation that you've got. So by doing these types of clinics and camps, we're building the pipeline which gives us more officials to choose from and once you do the right thing, some of the good officials will be female, some will be black, some will be Hispanic. You know, they, they will come from all different backgrounds if your main intention is to get the best official. But for three seasons, I drove three hours to study for two hours and drove three hours back. Got home at 2 a.m. and I was up at 5 a.m. to do the grind. Seeing the growth that has taken place over the years since I began officiating at the collegiate level in 2002, it's been a lot of tremendous, I would say it's been some tremendous efforts in that, in that space um, and seeing the growth and I think a more diverse group is a better group because it takes you out of your comfort zone, it challenges you to become more and I think the more diverse you are, the better prepared you are to handle various situations. So I think it makes us all better and it takes us all out of our quote unquote comfort zone, makes us get out of our square um, to become better officials, better coaches. Uh, it makes sports that much better. Being a part of the game, being part of the, the these kids' development and growth and just seeing, you know, how some of these uh, players as well as officials go from the high school to the collegiate level and some advance to the, the NFL level. And just knowing that you've been a part of that, you've been a part of that, it's just a rewarding experience. I think uh, we're doing some great work here. I would love to just see it continue to grow and develop and, and expand. Where I think the more open-minded we are, the better we are. Some of us have some fears, but we have to continue to, to, to evolve and it just forces us to come out of our comfort zone, get out of our square, which makes us better. And uh, I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of it. C -O -C.